Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good afternoon, Eastern Iowa. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Danny Casty. It was a nice day today to kick off the month of July. It definitely doesn't feel like July out there. Dew points are only in the upper 40s and low 50s, and we'll continue to have that for this evening. However, through the overnight hours into the day on Tuesday, it'll be quickly on the rise into the upper 60s and low 70s. So on the uncomfortable side, you're going to be able to feel that humidity out there. Wednesday and Thursday, not much relief. We'll be staying in the mid to upper 60s. And then on Friday, a little bit of relief in the upper 50s and low 60s. With that rising dew point, we will have a chance of some showers and storms overnight. I think the severe risk for tonight will stay off to the west, mainly the Dakotas, Nebraska, and then far western Iowa there. For us locally, maybe our western, kind of northwestern edge here could see maybe some heavy rain at times, maybe very small hail and gusty winds. But generally speaking, I think much of the activity should stay below severe criteria. During the day tomorrow, that is going to change. The cold front that will be initiating those storms off to our west tonight will continue to move off to the southeast and give us a chance of strong to severe storms for much of eastern Iowa tomorrow afternoon and evening. Basically kind of right around the old wine area, you see Butler County, Bremer County there and kind of southward kind of connecting that line. And for this, the timing would be about 3 o'clock to 10 o'clock Tuesday afternoon and evening. The main threat initially would be large hail as those cells form. And then as the line becomes more organized, it'll be more of a wind threat. Tornado chances could see a couple of brief spin ups, so can't rule that, that out. And a level three risk for our far southern areas, but I think most of that again will stay well south of our area. So let's step through future track together and kind of show you what we're expecting here. So through the evening hours could see maybe some light to moderate showers. We have a little bit of a lack of moisture, at least through the evening. So by the time it gets here, I think it'll lose a little bit of its strength, but still could see some showers through the early parts of tonight. Most of it, though, will be after midnight. You can see this moderate to heavy rain, and as I mentioned, maybe some stronger storms to go along with it. That will continue through the overnight hours into Tuesday morning, looks like, and maybe could be a little bit of a wet morning commute for us, so maybe keep that rain jacket and umbrella handy. We'll continue to see those light to moderate showers, and this is where we'll see during the afternoon on Tuesday if we see a little bit of a lull during the rain and some sunshine that could help us refuel and kind of restart the atmosphere. If we see continuous rain and maybe cloud cover, then I don't think the storms will be as strong, but I think we'll have rain chances regardless. So here's the afternoon. You can see 4 o'clock, maybe more so in our southern areas, seeing a little bit of that kind of break in the rain world. More of our northern areas are seeing more consistent rainfall. Here's 7 o'clock. You can see that line again. Most of our central and southern areas, some heavy rain at times, maybe gusty winds. Large hail and then a brief spin up or two can't be ruled out. That'll continue and then again about 10 o'clock. I think that'll leave at least a severe chance will leave our area. Maybe some lingering showers behind that. Then we'll see skies clear, then have some sunshine for our Wednesday. No matter where you are in eastern Iowa, though, we are expecting quite a bit of rainfall out of this. Anywhere from about an inch, maybe to two and a half inches, maybe some areas close to three, depending on if rain kind of trains through an area. And with this rainfall, river forecasts are being updated. Now we're expecting once again more minor flooding around the Cedar River. Along the Mississippi, we're expecting higher crests, maybe some major flooding, especially in Dubuque. So this rain only is going to cause things to get worse in terms of river flooding and also could cause some localized flash flooding as well. So stay up to date on the forecast and stay safe especially if they drive through the day tomorrow into Tuesday night. To recap here, low temperatures for tonight will be in the low to mid 60s. Showers and storms mainly after the midnight hour. Winds will continue to be strong out of the southeast at 10 to 20. During the day tomorrow, high temperatures, again, depending on where that rain kind of ends up and how long it lasts, generally speaking, will be in the upper 70s north of Highway 20, low to mid 80s along and south of Highway 20. Winds staying pretty strong. It'll be on the muggy side with dew points in the upper 60s and low 70s. Your city by city forecast for Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. Wednesday, a dry, a nicer day, but a little bit on the muggy side still, a little bit warmer. Then for your 4th of July, it looks like it could be a wet one, unfortunately, especially during the afternoon and evening. So might have to make some backup plans if possible for the 4th of July, at least spending time outside. Friday, some isolated showers, a little bit cooler and a little bit more seasonal, or I should say below average seasonal. Then for this upcoming weekend, maybe a couple more storm chances heading into next week, but temperatures remain on the seasonal side in the low to mid 80s.